award-winning new six has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation and this public television station. This week on News 6, we'll visit a lady who's young at heart, we'll hear about a unique organization for students, and we'll learn about the important operations at Cary's National Lime and Stone Plant. Hi, I'm Erica Daniels from Colonel Crawford Elementary in Cary, Ohio. Welcome to News 6. With today's first story, here's David Steen. Birdine Devine of Cary is retired from a local bank, but she keeps herself busy with her many beautiful dolls. Summer Stefan of New Six talked with her about her creative hobby. Where do you get the ideas for your dolls? I usually go to the pattern stores and, and check. I like Dream Spinner patterns. They have nice patterns and I go to a lot of craft shows and get some ideas there. How do you make these dolls? First thing I have to do is I go to the store and get the fabric and I like to buy enough fabric for maybe three or four dolls at a time. I use cottons a lot and some polyesters and I use some lace on some of the small dolls and then I bring them home, bring the material home, I lay the fabric on the table and cut out maybe three or four dolls patterns at a time. I usually try to sew like all the pantaloons together at one time, all the bodies together, all the legs and arms and so on. And next I stuff the dolls. I sew the dresses together and decide which dress I'm going to put on which doll and what apron to put on to match the dress. I have made uh, what we call uh, an Amish doll, girl and boy. I have made the draft, do draft door doll, that the one that the legs extend out and you, hang, you put them in front of the door to keep the draft out. And I also do wood dolls. I cut, have wood pieces cut out. Then I make their dresses to put on the wood dolls. Uh, a lot of smaller dolls, a lot of different kinds. I think the Ginger Snap Friends, which is a, is a colored doll, is my favorite, but I also like a doll I call Patience, which I paint the face on the cloth. What do you enjoy most about your craft? I think the thing I like the most about making these dolls is when they're all finished and I get to put the dress on, the last thing I do is put the dress and the apron on, and I always sit them on the sofa, and then I look and, and I have maybe four or five dolls sitting on the sofa and they look so pretty in their dresses. And I think that's what I like about it, the finished product. This week's News 6 is being produced by the sixth grade class at Colonel Crawford Elementary in Cary. Cary is located about 19 miles east of Finley. It was founded in 1858 and has a population of 3,800. The Colonel Crawford Student Council is an organization run by students for students. It's celebrating its second year of many important projects. Amanda Fredrick spoke with Mr. Vern Hall to learn more. Mr. Hall, what is the purpose of the Student Council? Well, a few years ago, Amanda, we became aware that we needed something for our students to get them involved in some areas that would um, teach them some basic student government ideas, give them some parliamentary procedure background, and we came across the idea of the student council. We wanted the student council to be an educational experience for our students and many of the variety of activities that um, our students participate in involve our entire school body. Student of the Month is a activity that the Student Council came up with involving all of our classes where each teacher runs a contest to determine one month the friendliest student, another month 
the most academically improved student, and each month we hope to have a contest of this nature, which gets our entire student body involved. Just Say No Club involves grades four, five, and six this year, and a number of our faculty are involved at each grade level. It's a program of self-awareness where we are asking students to just say no to drugs, alcohol, and tobacco. Can you tell us about the student council flag? Yes, when we started our student council, we were interested in getting some symbol that would indicate um, our student council. And we had a contest, and uh, the winner was a young man that developed the idea that there would be seven stripes and seven stars, each indicating one grade level, K through six. What can we expect from the council in the future? The future is really unlimited as to what we might be able to do. I think each sixth grade each year will have their own unique ideas as to what they would like to do. Kids View lets the kids of Northwest Ohio say what's on their minds. We asked the sixth graders at Colonel Crawford what's the most important subject in school. Here's what they said. The most important subject to me is spelling because I know I have to be able to spell to get through life. The most important subject to me is social studies because I want to learn about this country and other countries. The most important subject to me is math because I'd like to figure out my taxes when I grow up. News 6 recently visited Cary's National Lime and Stone Plant to learn about its importance in the c community. Chad Leiter has that story. The quarry is a mile and a half long and 120 feet deep. National Lime and Stone told News 6 exactly what's done with this important quarry. Mr. Kinza, exactly what's done here at the plant? Chad, National Lime and Stone Carries operation is a mining operation producing industrial minerals. We make various industrial minerals, Chad. Basically, they are dry stone, which is produced from our quarrying operation, but we also produce quick lime products, which are used in the steel manufacturing process, as well as in the fiberglass manufacturing process. What are the departments you have here? We have a quarrying operation, or a mining, we also have a drying operation where we take the quarried stone and run it through a hot air dryer, which will allow us to produce a dried product. Additionally, we have a calcining operation wherein we produce the calcined dolomite or the quicklime. And in addition to that, we have the laboratory, we have engineering services, we have shop facilities where we do all of our maintenance and repair. Our operation here at Cary is different from others from the standpoint that we do produce a dried product, whereas most other uh, mining operations produce only road stone. And additionally, we do produce the calcine product, which produces the quick line. That is the process where we actually heat the stone up to 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit and turn it into an oxide form. Why are quarries important to communities like Cary? Quarries, as well as other industrial operations are important to the community that they're in because they do provide places of employment. They also provide a necessary product to the various industries that they service and these in turn produce products which the, all the individuals use back in their home. That's all for this week's show. Join us next time when News 6 travels to Farmer, Ohio. Production support for award-winning News 6 has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation. 
in this public television station.